it's time to do the bodywork. I'm going to be putting on the stickers and we do have some custom stickers we've made for this as well. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm going to be working on the VQS. Now the VQS you've probably seen before, some time ago we started on doing a custom VQS and it's time to do the bodywork. So it actually comes a factory painted. I'm going to be putting on the stickers and we do have some custom stickers we've made for this as well. So come along for a little ride and I'll show you how I start putting on the stickers. Okay, so from the top camera, you see how we've already test fitted everything here. The wings already been put in place and then the body's been fitted there. Well, we don't actually need it on the body, so I'm gonna take all this off. And I'll just unscrew this wing so we can get to it. Now the VQS is uh, one of the re-releases that came out in the last year. And we've added a few extra go fast bits on it. All right, so we'll just take these wing buttons off, put them aside, make sure we don't lose them. Okay, and then I don't need the chassis there anymore either. So we'll put that over there. All right, so we're left with the wing and the body. Okay, so in preparation, I've got some water here. So this is a water with just a, a drop of detergent. So this is dishwashing detergent. Whole idea is um, this particular mixture is gonna help us apply the decal. So we're gonna put this on the body and then the decal will go on top of the wet surface. With the detergent there, it's gonna make sure that you'll be able to move the decal around and then when you're happy with its position, we will squeeze it out. Okay, so we're gonna squeeze it out with one of these cloths, which I've already moistened. And of course, we're gonna use some scissors for cutting out our decals. And I've got a sharp knife here as well. And I've got a heat gun, or you're probably safer off using a hairdryer for shaping the decals if they need to go over some sharp curves. And we'll see that as we go. Okay, so here's the sheet of original decals it comes with. I'm not going to use them all because we're doing a custom finish because with those, I've got these special ones that we've had made as well. So I'm going to mix between the two. All right, so I've got those ready. I've got the manual ready as well. So we're going to go to the page where it shows you which number decal to use where. Okay, so when you go through the body, this is actually showing you how to paint the body. Uh, but we didn't need to because this was a special edition where it's already been cut and painted. But it does go to this point here that after you paint it, it should peel off the protective film. And indeed, these do have the protective film on them. Now, if you're not too sure if it does, uh, when you look at it, it does look milky. Okay, so to the untrained eye, you may not know that. The easiest way other than that is to look for any scuff marks on the side. Okay, so if I just gently zoom that in, you see it's already scuffed there, okay? And that usually shows you that it's got this protective coating on the outside, which is like a glad wrap. And if I start picking at that, you see how it's coming off now? Okay, so that indicates that this has got the protective film on it, okay, if you weren't sure. Now, it's really important to take that off because if you don't, by the time you put all your stickers on it, as you drive it around, it's gonna naturally come off the edges and then when you peel it off, all your stickers are gone and you'll be left with a naked body. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure we peel all that off. So since I've started here, let's just pick at it from the side. And you'll notice that when we peel it, okay, so I'm just peeling it up from here. You see how it's hanging off. And you notice that how much deeper that black appears to the rest of it. Okay, so you see how that's milky on this side? And it's really dark on that side. All right, so let's peel that off, get rid of that. Don't want that. Get rid of the rest. Okay, so as I'm peeling it off, see that? So that's a milkiness you can see there. Okay, with a huge contrast. And the clear part is now perfectly glass clear. So again, compare this sheen to the sheen. Okay. All right, there will be uh, times when the bodies aren't uh, covered. And if it's super glossy like that, then you know that it's not covered. All right, so let's just do the wing as well. Same sort of thing. Just pick it up from an edge. Just need to use your fingernail because your fingernail won't scratch the plastic. It just all comes off. There you go. Super, super glossy. All right, we'll put the wing aside because we'll do that last. 
let's start doing the body first. Okay, so let's go back to our manual here, which is going to give us an indication of which stickers to use. Okay, so we've got our instructions here with the numbers of which sticker. So I think I'll just do the, um, the silvers around the cockpit and along the side here, and then I'll customize the rest. Okay, so I'm going to leave that here for my reference. I'll just get these stickers out. I really like how the stickers have got this retro on off switch and also the caution hot stickers because you're not going to be using these now because you don't use the resistors that used to burn you in the 80s. Okay, so I'll leave that small sticker in there. Okay, so I'll leave that in the packet. And then there's our main stickers here. Okay, so I'm going to be concentrating on these ones here. So I'll do the side ones and I'll show you how I get those all lined because they're multiple piece. Okay, so there's this one and this one that goes on the side and I'll concentrate on those first. Now the, the stickers that come with Tamiya are not pre-cut. Some brands will have them pre-cut, like these ones that we had custom made are pre-cut, which makes it easier, but these ones you just need to trim. So with that, I'll use the scissors to do the main trim. And then I may use a knife too if, the, uh, if it's a really complicated shape. Okay, so you just need to check the instructions to make sure you're cutting in the right spot. I try to cut as close as possible to the actual design and that way you don't have too much of that uh, sort of clear excess look. Okay, it actually looks like a painted fish finish. Of course, you have to be really careful when you're cutting this close. Okay, since that's really close there, we'll just might as well cut the other side as well. Now if you're interested in this particular car, once we finish with it, this will be available to purchase as a special modified. Okay, so there are the two front pieces. And let's get ready with these back pieces. So they're sort of hidden along here. So we'll probably end up cutting this decal sheet in multiple pieces. You can get curved scissors as well, which are quite often used for cutting the wheel arches of polycarbonate bodies. Well, they can be handy for cutting some of these intricate curves. With a bit of practice, you can do just the same thing with straight scissors too. Let's see what's going to be the easiest way of doing this. I might cut this through this point here. I'm going to cut this into a smaller section so it's easier to, to trim up the, the sticker that I want to use. It'll be easier to handle than a huge sticker sheet. Okay, all right, so the largest part I can put aside so it doesn't flap about so much. We've got a smaller section here that we can handle easier. It's got a few extras there, but that's okay. Just make sure we don't lose those. Now let's just trim these so we get the parts that we want to work with now. Now when you're doing these large sort of racing stripe uh, designs, I find it always easier to cut out both sides that are going to go on because I'm going to be test fitting them and when you've got both sides on, you'll be able to check how symmetrical they've applied. And then if need be, you can just readjust it before you put one on permanently and try and match it with the other side. Okay, so there's one side cut out.
Okay, and there's the other. Okay, so the spare bit, I'm gonna keep on the side there. And now we've finished trimming these front panels. Alright, so there's that bit. So with these parts, I always try to trim the easier parts first, and then the complicated curves, like the one we've got here, uh, I can concentrate on that once the bulk of the, uh, the spare backing film has been cut away. Okay, so with the curves like this, I try to cut them all in one go. Because what happens is if you cut this section here and then this section, you end up with a tear in the center. So when you peel it off, it may actually tear across there. If you do it all in one go and it's curved, it actually has quite a bit of strength. All right, let's do this one. Always helps if you've got some really sharp scissors too. Okay, so we've got our stripes front and back. Okay, so if we look at our body here, this particular one is going to go across here. So you see how it's got that cutout shape? And it's going to follow this line. And then this one is going to pick up from here and has to match along here. Okay, so to do this, we'll align this one first because we've got the preset cut here, so we know exactly where it needs to go. And then we're going to adjust this across here and see how it sits. Okay, so let's just move these two across to this side. Alright, so there's the two we're going to concentrate on, so that these are going to match like this. Alright, so I'm going to prepare this by just cutting off a section of the backing paper. So we'll just peel that up. And I've gone past this point where it can tear. And we'll just trim that off. Okay, so what I've got here is, I've still got the backing, as you can see the green, but we've a little bit missing. Okay, so that's tacky there. So we can actually tack it down. Now what I'll do now is, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Okay, so with this really light detergent water, I'm just going to paint it across here. And this is going to allow me to reposition and also helps remove any air bubbles that might get trapped. Okay, so I've got that. Let's just carefully line this up. Now sometimes bodies can be hard to keep a hold of. because they've got awkward shapes. But you see there, I, I put it down and I wasn't quite happy with the position. So it's got tack, but it's not going to take. Okay, so at the moment it's only attached at this point here. And at any time I can actually peel that off if I want to reposition it. Okay, so I'm just checking how it's going to sit. And I've only got the top section there tacked. The bottom part that's still sticky, I haven't attached yet because it's on a complex curve. I'm just going to follow this curve along here and we'll just make sure that this one's going to match perfectly. Okay, so we're just going to roughly hold it in place and then that's meant to meet at this point. Okay, so that's probably going a bit further than we'll like. So we can overlap that a little bit. this okay I think it's in a pretty good position now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the top section of this or even easier I'm going to peel it all off and reattach this so that only the top section of this is going to be tacky okay so let's just make sure it's nicely wet again 
because that backing paper would have absorbed a little bit. Peel that off. And I'm going to reposition it. As you can see, it's off, but I'm going to reposition it a bit lower. So that I'm going to still take it off later. And then with that, we can give it a little bit of tension. And I'm pushing from the front part that's attached. I'm just going to roll my thumb all the way up here, like so. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. Now let's just check it with this. Okay, so I'm just looking at the reflection of that line. I think I don't mind it being there, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so we can still flip this back and apply more of this water on the side before we apply the rest of the decal. Okay, so I'm just going to peel it up like this. And as we're peeling it, you see here, so this is going to get pressed down. So we want to move our fingers across this and gently push it down from the top downwards. And as we're doing that, the backing paper is just going to fall away. Okay, you can see it there all these different angles okay so it's fallen off now so you can see how smooth that decal has applied there's no air bubbles okay because I've used my fingers to basically like a squeegee press it down this way and now we're at this overhang part and this is where we use our finger to just gently push it down here and because it's going to a complex curve it's going to resist and it's going to want to pull back up but that's okay we're going to fix that down with our heat gun or hair dryer okay so that's down flat and there we go okay so with that i've got my little moist towel i'll we'll just give it a gentle wipe down and that's down flat okay good all right next part of this is to make this match here so what we want is this line needs to match up with this line here and then this part needs to match up with the decal so that the pinstripe is fully aligned and you can't see any joint okay so what we're going to do is just need to make sure that the rear is where we want it and the front matches up I think that's pretty good so I'm pretty happy with that okay so we'll do a similar thing to what we did before so let's just wet this down first okay so this is the back section I'm going to peel up a little section at the front this is going to be my tacking part cut off a little bit of the backing paper okay so you see that backing paper then this part is tacky We'll do exactly what I did before, but we're just going to tack it down this time. Okay, so let's make sure that's about where I want it. That's about right. Okay, and then here, we can actually spend the time to slide this back and forth because we can slide it on the backing paper and then just tack it where we're happy with it. Okay, so let's tack down now. All right, and from there, you, you can't really see because it's, it's fully aligned. If you look up close, you will see where it's two pieces, but the whole idea is you want these pinstripes to be fully matching. Okay, and then as we press this down, sort of flat to check it, that comes around to the point where I want it. Okay, so we do exactly the same as we did before. So I fold this back, wet it again, and we'll slowly peel. So what I'll do now is I'm going to cut off say a third of this backing paper because that allows me to as I'm pressing it down make sure it's going to match in the spot I want okay so that's basically where I want so my fingers going across here pressing it down yeah. 
Okay, so it's good. Quite happy with that. And then we can fold it again. So basically, it, it, it's all dependent on how long the decal is too. These are quite long, so I'll do it in, in a few parts. So the front part I did in two parts. Now this one, we can do this. Okay, so I'm still using the backing paper so I can easily peel it off. So we'll just leave it there for the moment and as I slowly squeeze it with my thumb up to the end. It's looking about right. Okay, so I readjust it. I'll take out the backing now. And then I'll just gently squeeze this on. Okay, so there you go. Wipe it down my moist rag. There we go. Easy as that. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, so same sort of thing. Let's just wet it all down. I get my front part. Cut off the end. Okay, let's just align it. Okay, so we know from the front basically where we need it to go. So this is where we're just tacking parts on at the moment. So you see that, how I just peeled it up again. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Again, we'll get the back part and we just double check where it's at. So that's going to be like here. Yep. I think that's pretty good. You can just double check on this side too. See where it's sitting. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to do the thing I did on the other side. I'm going to peel this off. And then I'm going to drop it down. like so. Okay, and now we can make sure we have that in where we want it. So just about there. So I'm going to start rolling this down with my finger. Okay, just to get the edge where I want it. Okay, because I wanted to follow that line on the body. And now we can just press it down a little bit more. And as we do that, you notice that I've flipped up the, the backing again. Just make sure there's enough water here, because the backing does suck up a bit of water. And then I'm going to peel that out here, and then we'll gently squeeze that down again along the side of the bodywork. And just with my thumb. Okay, so you saw how that backing plate just naturally fell off. And so we've got the overhang here now. Okay, so there's enough water there. So again, just gently with my finger, squeezing it down. And that's it. All right, wipe off all the excess. Let's check everything here. Looks all right. Looks about the same. Okay, I think we're on to a winner. All right, so basically we just want to do this the same as the other side again. All right, so same thing again. Just going to wet this side. Trim off this section of the backing. And by using the, this one as a guide, I can make sure I put it in the same spot. And then this is the most important part because this needs to match up with these pinstripes. All right, so let's tack down. And by the time we roll this out, that should be perfect. Okay, so we're happy with the way that's gone. 
All right, so I'm going to peel back this backing. Trim off about the same, so about a third. Just going to pull this back. A bit more water. Okay, and now we can do this sort of tensioning. Okay, so from here you can see that you can actually adjust this either way like this. I'm going to get it in just the right spot. I'll just check this to make sure it's going to be about right. I think that's pretty right. Might want to drop it just a little bit. So you see how easily it peels up? Yep, I think that's good. All right, so I'm going to take off the rest of this. Actually, let's use a little bit here. No, let's just push that across. Actually, that's matched up perfectly. Okay, so I'm just squeezing it down with my thumb. And you notice that that's covered up the antenna hole. That's not a problem because after we, we set it, we're just going to trim that off with a sharp knife. All right, so I'll wipe this down. All right, there you go. So I've got both sides on. Really simple. Okay. So I guess you probably don't need to see me do absolutely everything. So they're the hardest parts. Now what I'll show you is I'll use my heat gun. Now if you're using a heat gun, you need to have it on a reasonably low setting because otherwise you can melt and deform your body. Uh, a hairdryer is definitely much more um, uh, controllable. So when I turn this on, it's gonna be difficult to, to listen to me, but I'm just gonna be concentrating on these areas around here, particularly concave curves like this. If they're not set down properly, then they will start picking up. And you see that's picking up now a little bit. What the heat's gonna do is gonna activate the adhesive on the decal. It also softens the decal so you can actually uh, press it down into the curves. So it will stretch a little bit. Okay. You may be able to see how it's actually softening and dropping into the, uh, the shape of that antenna wire in the hole. And if I just press it now, you see how it's left the indentation. Okay, so this is going to seal off all of these edges. And then with the back, I'm going to concentrate on this concave curve. We'll press it outwards to get the air out. And then I'll I'll heat up every single part of the decal because that'll help it stay on more permanently. Any of these parts that sort of overhang here, you can easily fold them in. Okay, so let's do this side as well. So there's a concave part again, so I'll push it out. So this will actually stretch it. Okay, so let's just do this again. All right, there you go. So that didn't take that long at all. And you see how these parts here are fully aligned. That's the most important part. And then at the back, here you have these at exactly the same points. So we have a little bit of care, a little bit of technique. And I mean, that, this is quite a, a complicated curve. It's not super um, difficult. But you can see how these techniques help you get around these edges without it all folding up and also how you make it fully aligned and matching. So they can look daunting, but just really simple techniques. Very easy. Okay, so this is where I'm showing you the, the antenna mount. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I might give you a better idea.
Okay, so you see how it's indented. So when it was hot, I heated it up, I just pushed my finger through it, and that's pressed it in there. So the sticker itself is like in a little bit uh, into the hole. So there's less chances of it coming off. Now there's a couple of ways you can finish this off. We either use a really sharp knife, like our scalpel, and we trim it all the way off, or you can cut through the center, make a little star shape, and then with a hairdryer, you heat it and you fold the parts inside. I actually prefer just to cut it off. It looks a little bit neater, but that's up to you. And then you can see the join here. This is actually where the two join. It's barely noticeable. Okay, so you can see how that red thin pinstripe is all perfectly aligned. And same with the other side. So maybe I just see that angled join there now. Okay, but if we do that, you can barely notice it. And that's what you want to get. Okay. So that's how I apply decals. Now I have done another video where I apply decals as well, but I guess this is in a real life situation with a body with some you know, curves. Okay. Now you notice here, so there's a little bit of overhang here where it's sticky. Now this is where I'll put the hairdryer and then we'll fold that back. So let's just do this. Let's heat it up. It's just a little bit of an overhang, probably half a mil. And then from there, you can see it start curling, and we just, just get a bit of grip. Okay, that's it. Let's just fold around on the inside. Okay, so if I zoom in on that. So you see this part here had a half mil overhang. Now after I've heated it, you can see how it's gone around the other side. I just folded it in. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's the Vanquish. This is one going to be a Hearns exclusive. Started doing the basic decal design and I'm going to customize that a little bit with some more decals. But that's how you get multi-piece decals to fully match and how to put them on without air bubbles and also an ability to reposition them with the, uh, the little bit of soapy water. So that's it. There you go. That's the Vanquish or the VQS as it's known now as it's a uh, reissue. So thank you for watching.